Hello Aquarians and cross watchers welcome to your video so um, I don't know I did kind of channel a song but I don't I couldn't find this song but all I kept hearing in the song is don't look back and it's a 70s song um, but the message is don't look back so we're just gonna go ahead and get started in the reading I've already said my prayers and I want to also let you know that you guys are so beautiful and so needed in this world and I'm going to thank you all for being here um, don't look back. Uh, the pre-shuffle, I got good cards, um, like walking away from something and going towards something great. So, you know, that could be anything. It can even be walking away from a routine and going toward a new routine, you know, not looking back on the old routine. It can be something as simple as that. So show me what I need to see for this reading here. Don't look back as strongly the message. Don't look back. We have the here and the now. Everything happens in the now, not the past, not the future, right? A lot here about here and the now. So I feel like what's meant for you, that you're about there. You're about there, okay? Because we have between, between worlds, we have breathe, and then we have the here and the now. And then we have imagine. So, sorry about the light. So there's a lot about something you've been wanting, something, you know, you've been thinking about. Uh, what we think about, we bring about, okay, what we're, what's on our mind is what we're manifesting, whether we realize it or not. So I feel there's something that you've been manifesting, and it's about time to head to that. Um, don't know how it's going to happen. That's up to, you know, that's up to the divine universe, how this happens for you. Um, <laughs> and for those of you who have been, you know, um, manifesting, a person, a move, a move in with a person, okay? We have the yang energy, which can be known as divine masculine, but it's the yang. We have clean it up. And for me, that's like um, cleaning up the energy or moving, literally, like cleaning up your place because you're moving, organizing and things like this. But all of these right here talk about practicing presence, being in the moment, working on your, your breath work or working on listening, being in stillness and silence, okay? And clearly the message I heard was don't look back. So let's get into the tarot, see what wants to come out here. Be in the now, because what whatever you have been wanting comes here in the now. It comes in the now. So in, act like you already have it, uh, that you're enjoying it, okay? <laughs> Imagine that you have it already, whatever it is that you want. Because I truly, truly believe that it's coming. And when it does, don't look, don't look back. Don't look back to the previous way things were. I think that when it all happens for you, it's going to make a lot of sense about not looking back. So I'm going to do a past, present, future. And then I'm, I'm going to clarify. So I'm going to get into the past energy. So maybe we can... Uh, see what's going on here. Show me the past energy for this reading. For what it is that Aquarians or Cross Watcher for Aquarian is not going to look back on. Show me what that is, please. Give me a few cards for the past. We have Strength Reversed. Well, we have Ten of Cups. Okay. It's like family right there. Um... It may have been hard on you. And we have the Emperor. Okay. We have the Emperor here. And we have Yang in the past. Uh, this is in the past. But I think this is... Um, this is what this is about now. The Emperor is Divine Masculine. The Emperor is um, someone in charge. The Emperor is a husband. Or a spouse, I should say. The Yang energy uh, spouse. And it can be a card of Aries. Now we also have the Seven of Wands reverse and Strength reverse and the Ten of Cups reverse. I feel that what this is saying, um, you may have had to let go of somebody in the past, all right? Recent past or not, you may have had to let go of somebody, Divine Masculine, um, even a job. The Emperor can be a boss. I think it's been hard on you though, because whatever this was you let go of, it's like family. And if if anyone lost a father recently or someone strong, a, a strong pillar in their family or um, a favorite boss or if they've lost anything in the recent past, okay, 
if someone like lost a battle with something, um, family member, strong, strong divine masculine, strong yang energy. Uh, my my deepest condolences, but that's not going to be for everyone because this is in the upright. So for a lot of you, you've had to let go of this person, and usually it comes back around. <laughs> and you, when it comes back around, you don't want it. Um, I feel like it's more going to be like that, but like I said, if anyone lost anyone, my condolences. But tell me about the emperor. This is the past energy. It'd be the recent past. Maybe you've let go of them. Not looking back. Tell me about this. Judgment. Okay. It looks like somebody has, um, in the past, made a mistake when it comes to you. That's what it looks like. Judgment is in the reverse. Somebody was um, not in their higher self. Somebody was not um, has not begun their awakening. Okay, somebody was just sort of fooling around. All right, fooling around, um, pretty much living an empty life here with the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Wand in the upright, and the Five of Pentacles. All right, somebody was just feeling empty. Um, someone betrayed you so someone could have left you feeling empty um, they could be feeling empty here in the recent past for what they did to you this is going to be that energy tell me about the seven of wands and it looks like you made a choice yeah it looks like you made a choice if you're an Aquarian um or if you have Aquarius in your chart. But we do also have Pisces. We also have Gemini. We have Aquarius right here off the bat. It looks like you decided to let something go. All right. Um, I'm not saying that someone didn't let you go. Because I do have people who are not Aquarian. Who watch this channel. And they are the Yen. It looks like the Yen. Okay. Let go of the Yang. The masculine. Because they were playing around. This would be karmic energy, okay? It could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, High Priestess. In the reverse, that is Pisces, uh, Virgo. And like I said, I have Aquarius, Gemini, and more Pisces. So somebody, it looks like you released somebody because you found out um, they just wanted to play around. All right? They wanted to play around. Um, and so... You could be uh, realizing that they made a mistake, okay, because you have your own self-worth here. They could be realizing they made a mistake. Maybe you're regretful, okay, for um, even giving them a shot because it's like, it's, it's pretty deep. With all this major arcana, okay, it's pretty deep when it comes to the past energy. I feel with the yang and the upright, I do feel... Um, I do feel that they're going to come back around because you've turned your back on them. You've turned your back. Tell me about the strength card in reverse. That's Leo energy. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse and the ten of cups. All right. Somebody was weak. All right. So this is the, this is the deal. Somebody could have been weak. Somebody could have been in their ego. Um, someone could have been very controlling because the emperor reverse and strength reverse, this could be a, um, a person who is uh, controlling or being controlled, all right, by some other energy. And it's like saying, you know, I release you, all right, I release you. I'm strong on my own. Um, you can go that way, I'm fine. And I truly feel that you did let go and that you focused on yourself and now somebody is going through what we call the dark night of the soul someone's going through a lot of self-reflection here and someone is wondering if it's the right time to change things and be the person all right be the person um that you wanted them to be so this, i don't know we're not into the future energy yet but i would just about say this person's coming in for the future because they realize they gave up a close connection they gave up um, family 
because they see you as family. You could be family. I mean, this could be um, someone in your family. But we have here, but I'm just getting too much like third party energy, divine masculine, karmic energy. So I'm really feeling like um, something that you thought would come together that just took forever. I feel like you just let go. You're just like, it's taken too long. I'm just turning. I'm going to focus on myself. Somebody feels like they made a mistake here. I know you don't feel like you made a mistake for moving on. I feel like you, you're like you waited too long. You did, you know, you waited too long, because this Knight of Pentacles talks about time. You know, it's a card of Virgo as well. Somebody's with someone else. Okay, but look at here, King of Swords, Aquarius. Two of Wands, reverse, all right? This person, I feel, is thinking about coming back towards you. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. I feel like someone's definitely thinking about coming back towards you, all right? They might look for you at a place where you hang out with this Three of Pentacles. They might look for you at a place of work or some sort of establishment or something like that. Even might try to find you through your family's house, okay? where your family lives something like that so the recent past is uh somebody's thinking about coming back in all right somebody who is in the yang energy someone who feels like they made a mistake and maybe like i said you've probably been meditating clearing up your energy taking care of yourself manifesting new things and now this person wants to come back in that you're focused on something else. So the current energy, give me a couple of cards for the current energy. Give me a couple of cards. Give me a couple of cards for the current energy. I'm telling you, this reminds me of what I picked up. Don't look back. Look. They didn't choose you. They were judgment in the reverse. They made a mistake. And I feel like, you know, there were three people here. I feel like you awakened. You followed your calling or what you were led to do. Walk away or whatever. If you notice this person is just looking back like, look, these two are, this, this it's just, I'm not going to be in a third party. My person's not ready. My person's not mature. And I just see you walking away and turning your back. Man or woman, doesn't matter. It's a woman in the picture, but it doesn't matter. I feel that you just, you walked away from it. Okay. I feel that it was hard for you. Okay, but guess who it's even harder for right now? The person you had to walk away from. They were wasting your time before. They were dealing with other people before. Um, they were playing around. You got serious. You walked away. Okay, your life is too short to wait on some player. Now, this person is, like, not having it very good right now. Wheel of Fortune reverse, all right? That's the downside of karma. Sleepless nights, 1010. Could be seeing 1010. If you're seeing 1010 a lot, um, it might be a sign this person's just not doing too good. So, they come in bearing gifts is what they're thinking about doing. Coming in, being generous, being kind. Maybe they like to pay for their mistakes with money. Maybe that's how they make problems go away. So let's clarify. It's going to go like this. You walked out on them. They want to come in. They're not doing so well. So tell me about judgment. That's a card of Pluto, Scorpio. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of um, Sagittarius. We have the swords and the coins. So we have air and earth energy. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Oh, that's a lot of cards for judgment. Yeah, right there. Three of cups reverse. You're not going to be part of a third party. 
someone could have been doing a lot of drinking and playing around. This could be a person who likes to party a lot, party a lot, get into little affairs, short-lived. We got a tower, though. They got what they focused on. They focus on a third party. You walked out. That's what's clarifying judgment. You walked out. We also have a tower. Okay, you're focused on doing something else. You might be focused on your coins. You might be focused on um, meditation. You could be focused on projects. You could be focused on just living in the moment. Then, look, uh, uh, some sort of communication comes in. In the pre-shuffle, I got message in a bottle. There's some sort of communication. And someone's having some tower here. Someone's having a tower. I don't feel you're having the tower. You walked away. You walked away. You left them be with their third party. Or their party, okay? Because they could have more than their third party. They look like they like to party and just be around there. Be out there. Something happens. They're not having. They're not having it. Something happens. There's a tower for them. Like I said, Scorpio, um, Aries energy with that tower. Sagittarius energy with that Knight of Wands. And very inconsistent. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Even though it's a card of Jupiter, it reminds me of Saturn when the car <laughs> when Saturn return comes in. Jeez, yeah. Someone's marriage could be ending, or an ending with a Taurus. Someone's marriage could be ending because they find out about this um, third party, or it could be a relationship. Definitely some sort of contract. You know, somebody messed around. Somebody played around. And got caught. Don't look back. I think you already did that. But I think that now. Now. One of two things happened. They could have got cheated on. Or. They could have went and cheated on someone else. And got caught and their relationship is over. Tell me about the nine of blades. But they may be the ones. Who got cheated on. Because. They can't sleep. Or they could just be getting left. Okay. They could just be getting left. But, you know. I'm just drawn to this picture. This person is plastered. But this person. Is really plastered. Like the bottle is empty. And this is just stuff you've already walked away from. You've already heed the calling. You've already heard the trumpet. Yeah, so now somebody gets betrayed, and it's not you. The person who betrayed you gets betrayed. Isn't that ironic? Right now, when you watch this, tarot is timeless because the lessons in tarot, the messages in tarot, they're fundamental life lessons, okay? Unless you're putting astrology with tarot. But there is... We have the lovers on the bottom, Gemini energy, um, divine feminine in the reverse. It took a long time for someone to come back around, but it looks like someone's coming back around when they need you, when they're hurting, and when they're going through a betrayal is what it looks like. It looks like they got betrayed. Tell me about the Six of Coins. This is coming in pretty generous. Justice. This is coming in. This person is going to try to really make up for all the wrong. And I feel like it's, they're going to be very generous. I don't know if with their time, their money, or what, you know. Tell me about justice here. Reverse. Libra energy. They want to start over. Okay. They want to start over and they're willing to dump some money here. All right. They're willing to do something to make it right because thing is they have to come in like a six of pentacles. You see how generous this person is. They really got to come in to make up for all this wrong to start over with you. 
because you have turned your back on this. Um, but I don't feel like you might be a friend to them, but with the message that I heard, it's 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 a song I could not find. It's like, hey, don't look back. And that's all I can, I don't have a clue who sings it. And I couldn't find it in the search engine, but it's a 70s song. I remember being a kid hearing it. So the current energy, yeah. Um, it looks like what hap what they did to you happens to them because it looks like they it looks like they put you in a third party. Um, it looks like you wasn't enough for them, and now guess what? They was not enough for someone else. Somebody else put them in a third party. So that's very ironic. What they did to you gets done to them. Let's get into the near future. Would not be surprised if this person does. I mean, it already shows in the current energy. They're thinking about um, reaching out. Eight of Wands. That's a text message that's traveling to your place or your work. because Or where they know you hang out. Because the Three of Pentacles were there. Um, they want to start over. And they want to be real generous. They may not tell you. Because we did see the um, moon card. They may not tell you that they've been betrayed. They may not tell you um, what's happened, okay? So keep that in mind. Show me the near future. <laughs> yeah, the sun, maybe a Leo has walked out on them. Um, we got the devil. Capricorn energy. Um... We got the Six of Cups, and we got Ace of Cups. Children here. This could be anyone returning. Returning to um, get you entwined with them. This could be, um, you know, the father of your children or something like that. Returning doesn't have to be. This could be somebody coming in and wanting to lock you down with a family, all right? Wanting to lock you down with a family, Possibly so that you can't, uh, they can never be abandoned or, or left. This person, um, this person might even get scared straight. I mean, this, I'm looking here. We got the bottle. We got the bottle here. This person was going down the wrong way. Okay, but it is reversed. So maybe they go through something and it changes them. And you know what? Great. Great if it changes them. But that doesn't mean that you're going to be on board. And Cherry is reverse. Cherry is reverse. And this could very well be you. This could very well be you saying, uh, 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 not so quick there. Let's see. Tell me what the devil, tell me what the devil is trying to say here. And as I talk about the devil card, I see 1134. I started this reading at 1111, I believe. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil reverse. <laughs> yeah. Because this is your energy. That is, you have cut this person off. You really have. And, you know, what I want to say is kind of uh, cold, and I don't want to say it, and I'm not going to say it, but it sure is twirling around in my head. Um, they messed around and they found out. All right? They messed around and they found out. They found out that you turned your back, they found out that what they did to you happened to them. They got put in a third party. And they found out that in order to come back, they got to come back correct. They cannot come to you the way they did before. It's not going to be that easy. They know they have to be a super, super everything. <laughs> you know, they've got to be everything. They've got to come in correct. They've got to come in generous. They've got to hit all the boxes, not some of them. They've got to work over hard, over, over time, 
over everything in order to even try to get you to look their way. Thing is, this was face down, and usually what's face down is what is unseen, and it's this chariot. I think... I think that you had such a soft spot and a weak spot for this person. I don't even think you realize, or maybe you do, I, but this is like, I don't think that you realize because it's what you don't see that you're just going to stop it or because I feel like you really wanted something with this person. Okay. I really, I really feel you were into this person, wanted something with this person and you had to move on from them. And I, I don't even know if, I feel like you're going to surprise yourself is what I want to say. I feel like you're going to surprise yourself with how strong that you are and how much your boundaries have come up since dealing with this person. Tell me about the Six of Cups. You're not the same person. Yeah, Page of Cups. You know... There could be something to do with children or pets here, or, um, you know, because I really feel like they want to try and lock you down, all right? Uh, so if you can have children, they might try to get you pregnant. Um, if you have a child together, they're going to push it real hard, you know, but we have a family together. Um, whatever it is, they're going to try to get you to be with them um, because something's not... Because of some sort of tower, all right? And I don't think you're going to do it. I don't think you're going to go for it at all. Yeah. Definitely something comes out. Something comes out. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Now they could also come in with a very sincere apology and be like, look, but we're so close, you know. We're so close. I know that you've never felt close like this with anyone but me because you've probably told them that, you know, you feel close with them. And I just heard a car race by, so, like, they could even drive by your house and stuff. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, if they're able to. If they're not, they live in another country. And it's, no, they're not driving by your house. Mm -hmm. Be careful of what they say. Page of Pentacles reverse and the Seven of Swords reverse. All right. Because this is the thing. I feel they're going to say that they want a relationship. Okay. And that they want a marriage. Um, that they want to go all the way. I feel that they're going to say that. And I do feel that they want to get entwined with you. Like I said, get, you know, have children, adopt children, take care of children or um, or someone may have children when you guys get together or maybe get pets or adopt pets. They want to get themselves entwined with you in something, even if it's a house. They want to get entwined with you. So they're going to say, they're going to say a lot of stuff here. They're going to say a lot of stuff and they may not mean it. They may not mean it. Um... I want to ask real quickly. Well, let me clarify this chariot reverse. That's a card of cancer. Temperance. I don't think you're going to fall for it. Really, I don't. Because I think you're going to see this a mile away. I really do. I think you're going to see right through it. Um... I want to ask what their intentions are, and then I'll get a bonus card. I'm just being inclined to ask, what are their intentions? I know what their intentions are. Their intentions are to lock you down, okay? They probably have some very severe codependent issues, but um, what are their true, true, true intentions? What are the truest intentions here? What are the truest intentions when they return? What is it they truly, truly want? Six 
Six of Cups again here in the reverse. We got the Empress reverse and the Tower. We had the Hierophant, excuse me, Hierophant reverse, the Emperor reverse, Wheel of Fortune. Their relationship could be ending. Or you could be walking away, like I said, you could be walking away from a marriage. But I feel somebody put you in a third party, okay, um, got into a relationship. That relationship is ending. But now, like I say, this could be you, Aquarius. If you're in an unhappy uh, marriage and you find out something, don't look back. This also could be you. You could be the one stepping away. There is a tower, okay? There is a tower. I've gotten the tower twice. And that tower is something that you are just going to step away from. It's an emperor and an empress reverse. Somebody's relationship is over. All right? And if you're walking away from a marriage because you find out something, this person is going to say everything they can to get you to st stay. They're going to you know, t say, look, we have kids together, or they'll change, or something like this. But if you're not married... And somebody stepped away from you to go in another direction, got into some sort of commitment or relationship. They messed around or someone messed around on them. And then their relationship is over and then they want to come back in. Okay. Because here's a return. So you definitely got somebody who's coming in. But the thing is, I see you also avoiding a tower. You're like, no. You see this. Like I say, you're in a queen of swords energy. Even though we have the empress here, you're in. You're seeing things like a mile away. And I feel that you're going to avoid some sort of tower because you know something here. You know something. We have Aquarius and we have the Ace of Wands. Number one, you know exactly what you want. Also, you see this person. So if you see that this person is messing around, fooling around, not sincere, you see right through it. Um, you also have your eye on the prize. Because remember, you are the Eight of Pentacles. You are focusing on something in your life. And you're not going to let this come in and distract you, whatever it is you're focusing on. You have a clear intention set for yourself. Um... And it's almost like, look, you chose your path. I moved on from you. This is really what I see here with judgment, with Pluto energy, Scorpio energy. I'm really seeing you like, look, you chose your path. I'm, I moved on from you. If you made a mistake now, you're coming back. It's kind of too late. I really don't see you going toward this person. If, if this is someone you want to go back to, that's, that's fine. But this, what I'm picking up in this reading is um, a strong no. I'm picking up a strong no. Anyway, let's get a bonus card and see what wants to come out here. I did a reading um, yesterday or the day before about a new love is someone you know. And, and if you're waiting for someone that you already know to come in, that might be your reading. But this is a strong no reading. Um, that somebody wants to be with you, somebody wants to come back in, um, and they're willing to do everything, but the whole thing is, it's almost like you see through it. It's almost like you really see through it, and I really don't see you falling for it. Somebody wants you back. But remember, the message was, Hey, don't look back. <laughs> don't look back. You are strong. You are strong. We have Snow Leopard here for the bonus card. And it says self-reliance. You are strongly independent and often solitary. So you're fine being on your own. And it says integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility <laughs> and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's almost like 
the shit hits the fan for somebody else, um, they want you. They want you badly, okay? And it's like, you're like, no, I'm avoiding the tower. And it, it makes me think of that. I'm avoiding the tower when it says here, cloak yourself with invisibility. It's like saying, no, I'm not, I'm not anywhere to be found right now. That's your problem, okay? <laughs> I don't know, guys. That's what I feel strongly. It's a no on your part. You're not falling for it. You're strong. You're better off without dealing with this person's uh, lies and codependency. Anyway, I love you. I'll see you in the next reading. And namaste, my friends.